loaded up at Interstate Batteries. Finna bring these batteries back I got. I end up having to change um, during the week while I was at work and my brother ended up changing my auntie battery, but I just got all of them fun and end up on um, come back to get my coil for the ones I took out of their car that was dead. It was like crazy. So my grandmother battery went dead in her car. My auntie battery went dead in her car and my sister battery went dead. This all three of their batteries and I'm bringing it back here to get the core for it. Yeah, we here right now. Hold tight. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Gator back with another vlog. On this here vlog, I'm gonna be revealing this new G-Body I purchased. I'm gonna be revealing it to the channel for the first time. If you checked out my previous video, I end up purchasing the car, but I just showed like the interior and under the hood. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show the whole vehicle today. But you know, presentation is everything and this car is filthy. So before I show y'all, I'm gonna go get it cleaned up. You know I'm going to BR to my spot, get this thing washed up, interior vacuumed out, cleaned up. So when I do my walk around, you know, everything look good, you know. Like I say, presentation is a, is a lot, first presentation. So as you can see, I'm not in my garage or the original garage I always be in, or the truck right there. I just made it here. This car is running as we speak, like a sewing machine. You hear that? You hear that door sh shit? Watch, watch how, how easy. <laughs> Hopefully y'all don't think I brought no jump. You did? Hopefully y'all don't think I brought no jump. But yeah, like I say, we are gonna go to Baton Rouge, get this thing cleaned up. I might try to get in contact with Red Cause you know I hate riding this stuff without the AC. Like I told y'all when I first purchased it, the AC compressor was clicking on and off. So that let me know it was low on Freon. I already had some cans on standby. So we might try to catch red, let him put them cans in there. And then I may let him go see about that mount. If it's the motor mount, or transmission mount bracket or whatever they call it from when it goes in reverse, it ejects a little bit. So I may let him go do that so I could be comfortable comfortably riding in it without any issues or however. And I looked under the car. When I got here, I thought it was gonna be a disaster, like a lot of oil, transmission fluid. But surprisingly, it wasn't a lot. It was like a small lit puddle, but uh, I'm gonna get that took care of. I already knew that when I purchased the car, so uh, it had a transmission leak, because when I looked at the pans of the floors, I seen the transmission uh, pan was wet. So I already knew it had a leak which I wasn't tripping on, that was minor. But um, uh, yeah, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. I know y'all don't like to talk, but we finna head to Baton Rouge, get this thing cleaned up, and if I can catch Red, we gonna catch him, and then I'll be revealing it, so stay tuned. And make sure, if y'all new to this channel, y'all hit that like, share, it's free. Hit that subscribe button, it's free, hit it. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified, and share with a friend, you did. Y'all ain't gonna wanna miss this. Make sure y'all don't skip through it. I'm adding a new G-Battery to the page. And who knows, this one might be, be up for grabs. You know what I'm talking about? Like I told y'all before I purchased the car, I got it for a nice number. So I ain't gonna really be trying to bust no heads for it. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. It's free. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Like I said, real small transmission spot. Nothing major. I thought it was gonna be worse. And that and the car has been sitting for like two or three days in this garage i moved it the next day after i parked it in my grandmother's house under the car porch and i brought it here so that's not bad what's going on gang? as y'all can see i'm up in the vehicle uh right now we gonna just head to red he gonna meet me by my shop because all of a sudden rain done popped up in the forecast so as I said in the garage, we need to get this AC right. I already had some cans on standby. I'm gonna let him shoot these cans up. Then we go check on this, uh, these either motor mounts, loose or uh, missing, and uh, on the transmission bracket, something probably wrong with it. It's like I told y'all when I put this vehicle in reverse, it has a delay and, and it takes a little minute or a couple of seconds, I must say, and then it ejects. So I'm thinking it's either the motor mount or a bracket and I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping this guy didn't burn up or mess up the reverse. Uh, 
riding in the car with low fluid or something, you know? So, um, yeah, we finna go to the bank. I'm gonna pull up at the shop and then we gonna let Red handle this AC before this rain really get to coming down. And that way I can still move around like if, uh, if the rain slack up and we'll go get the car wash and all that so I can uh, reveal it to y'all. Like I said, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't gonna hold y'all up no long at all. I know y'all wanna see this thing and I'm ready to show it to y'all. So stay tuned. Look who pulled up on me at the shop, old oh, Red. God damn, man. He finna give me the right mess with this um uh, AC compressor. Uh, what you say we might do the transmission gasket and the uh, um screen and uh try to see where that oil leak. We gonna do a couple of things before that um rain come. We gonna try to do as much as we could do. Then I'm gonna go take it and get it cleaned up. Then I'll show y'all what the car looking like for the most part. Stay tuned. Oh, went off. Got to put another can in. Let me know when you want me to put it on high. Already taking care of you, boy. Change the screen, the transmission gasket, and we go see if the mount backed out. He said it looked like it backed out, but I might just go ahead and buy it. <clears throat> install that AC. It is blowing now. So we ain't see no leaks, but if it was to leak out, I just change the compressor. Ain't no big deal. Stay tuned. This your place. You can leave it now. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why you want to do that to my place? A business, man. Yeah. All right. I ain't mean the way that it did that when it hit the top of that thing. That I thing, know. I'm already know. That thing goes too old, boy. I got the fucking. So Red got the transmission boy, pan out. Boy, see the screen, boy. Is that dirty? Man, trash that dick on it. Damn. It couldn't breathe. Yeah. I get a shot of it when you get it out. Yeah, we got motion. So it gotta get changed anyway, so hopefully on um, that and that mount, one of them two is the reason. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, give me that ratchet over there on the other side. That's on the truck or on the other side of this car? On the other side. Got to stop doing shit. That doesn't make it jump and shit, too. Mm-hmm. But it ain't sucking good. Right. Yeah, and they got chunks in the pan, too. I got to Chunks in the bottom on so we just made it to O'Reilly finna see if they got these parts because they wouldn't answer the phone. Get right back with y'all. So we just made it back from O'Reilly. Brought the transmission fluid. That's the uh, brand they say I need it with the Dextron 6 in it. Dextron 6 is in it. Got a gallon and a quart. Got some breaker fluid for him to clean this transmission pan and clean up under the bottom. And then I got my transmission screen and gasket or filter, must I say. Automatic transmission filter kit. Let me see if I can find y'all that number. That's the number, the part number. 11 bolt, 11 holes. We go try to put this on and hopefully this solves the problem with the car jacking in the gear. And he did tighten up the transmission bracket or mount. It was loose. She said it, it was about four turns, five turns. Yeah. And he currently over here cleaning the transmission pan. We stopped and got some gas also because it had a whole bunch of gunk build up in that pan so he can take care of all that stay tuned wait a minute. you couldn't even see the bottom of the pan smack now let's 
get it. You gotta make sure you get all that gasket stuff around there. That excess gasket that was on there, clean it up real good. That thing looks smack now, boy. Hey, we don't take breaks over here. What the fuck I want? I work for me, bitch. <laughs> I take a whole break and leave it. Hey, all right, you leave me jacked up. I'm gonna whip your head good, cuz. <laughs> so we done got hot out there. I had to come up here and take a break, man. But yeah, ready up the car as we speak. Putting the transmission pan and a little screen back in there. And um, also, we just counted the bolts he took out. We counted them before we left, but I ended up doing a video and uh, counted them in the pan, and it was 11, but he counted 10 bolts when we came back. All we seen was 10 bolts. So he was saying it's just a possibility that they left one bolt out because all we have is 10 on the ground. So we maybe have to go back to the parts though to get a bolt unless we find one on the ground or whatever. But make sure if y'all new to the channel, y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe button. It's free. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. We going up on this channel here. I know y'all ready to see it, but I wanted to look good that's why i still have to go get it washed and i wanted to run good i want to be comfortable in it with the ac blowing with no issues where i ain't got to be worried about oh is the car gonna stop on me or however so yeah just stay tuned we are going to do the reveal of the vehicle and the walk around Coming along good, coming along good. Just gotta hope we find that other boat. Ain't no other boat out there. We'll go, took out. we'll go get one. You might wanna leave one out. I might not wanna do a damn thing. I wanna get through. If you don't complete the job, you don't get paid for the job. Well, I'll fuck you about that. You gonna do what? You know what the fuck I say? All right, I'm going to make sure I show this to the people, well, man. You need to show it to the people, because they're going to need to see it. You ain't going to work the fuck out of me for free, you stupid motherfucker. Oh. Red did find a boat and put it in. So all the boats are in the pan. I fuck with you tough, Red. I don't care what nobody said. So Red just ended up finishing putting the transmission gasket and screen or filter back on. And we just filled it up with the transmission fluid. So now we finna see if this thing will go in the reverse much smoother. And another thing that was loose was the um, transmission bracket mount and he tightened it up. And we also put Freon in the compressor. It didn't have anything in there, it had air in it. So we'll see if that hole we didn't see no leaks, but uh, if it doesn't, I just eventually probably just get a new compressor and uh, O-rings and dryer, the whole lit kit, and put on it. And we'll go from there. That way I know for sure it'll be blowing cold. You did? But y'all hold tight. Yeah, it is blowing cold now. But y'all hold tight. It has, it just still has a small delay when I put it in reverse. Watch. So this drive, and then when I put it in reverse, see, but once it get in reverse, it, it, it rides in reverse with no issue, but it just got that delay still. See, and drive, no problem. Reverse, delay, delay, gear. I don't know, man. Might have to do the transmission in here or something. I don't know. Stay tuned. What's going on? So I made it to Jimmy Bama. That's my the car wash man name. We just put the Bama on the end of it, but his name Jimmy. But uh, I done made it to Jimmy Bama. They washing the whip up, getting the thing right. Pre presentation is everything. So, uh, yeah, after he washes this thing up, while I'm on this side, I'm going to stop at Graham's house, holiday at Graham's. And um, then I go to a spot and reveal the whip to y'all. I already seen a spot when I was on my way, a little parking lot at a place. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and shoot it there. 
and uh, for the most part, I'm gonna try to get a reaction too, cause um, uh, I'm gonna get out the car and let them vacuum the inside out, and hopefully I can get Jimmy reaction or something, and I'll show y'all without showing the um outside of the car. But yeah, and I just uh hollered at my partner Ja, cause I sent him a video of Red working on it, messing with him, letting him know the transmission and stuff. We was already messing with it in the compressor which is the ass blowing now, you should be able to hear it. But uh, it's fairly all right. It's not like that Monte Carlo, I can tell you that. It's blowing pretty good. I'm not sweating at him. But uh, yeah, how that Ja told him we got motion or whatever, because uh, that's what I didn't tell y'all. Ja, ja is the one that kind of connected everything with the whip. So big shout out to him. You know, he knew the guy who had the car and told him about me. And then I kind of negotiated a price through Ja, but I told Ja I already know something wrong with the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna find something wrong with it. And then when I got them in the dude talk, you know, uh, all right, dude, I, I can't lie about it. Uh, me and him might end up linking up because him and Ja already be hanging together, which I'd have heard Ja say his name before, but when they be going out, I just probably be at work because I think me and the guys on different shifts or something like that. So. Anyway, cool guy. I bought the car from him. We we discussed the number. He was all right with that number. He said he, he knew he lost already. The price I gave him, he was saying, I guess he might have spent that on just the car itself. So, and he had did a couple of things, gave me parts he had with the car and everything. But, you know, big shout out to Ja. I got to give him a shout out. And uh, I'm going to insert a clip, you know, madman, do the madman dance. Mr. Put the paddle on your ass. Yes, sir. We will put that paddle on you if you get out of line. He know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm going to insert that clip of him. Here we go. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. They go. What they going to do? Yeah, big shout out to to Job. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I can get Jimmy reaction. And if I can get his reaction, I'm gonna put it on here. If not, we gonna go shoot once I finish at Graham's house seeing her and hollering at her. Stay tuned. So which one you think better? That one or the MC? Shit, they wouldn't work. <laughs> that one what it was with the MC, the morning caller? Just in they class, different class. Right, right. Yeah, Jimmy class. say they wasn't wet, man. Yeah. <laughs> so we just leaving Jimmy, headed to the uh, gas station. Then I'm gonna go by Grams, and then we gonna go uh, give y'all this walk around of this car. Y'all heard what Jimmy said. Jimmy said this be tight. He damn near said it was tighter than the MC. I think, huh? Or what it what with the MC? So what y'all think, man? If he says what it was with the MC, it's got to be clean, right? I'm telling you, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned, man. And make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. It's free, baby. Hit that like button. It's free. Comment. If uh, there's anything about the car that I know that the guy told me that y'all want to know, I end up letting y'all know. Now, if it's something I don't know, I can't let y'all know. But, yeah, I don't hold my nuts. If I know it, I'm, uh, I'm going to respond and let you know. And also make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified when I'm dropping these vlogs, man. Cause we gonna have we gonna have some motion with this car. Me and Red already say we gonna link back up. I wanna uh, redo all the belts on here since we got the compressor running. It was making noise when the compressor running. We think it's from the belt, so I'm gonna do all new belts and on um, spark plugs, probably wires, and uh, I might do the um what you call the vacuum lines on the carburetor because i'm sure if he didn't change anything he probably didn't change this so man y'all just stay tuned man i'm pulling up at the gas station oh man i probably don't want to go here yeah we probably ain't gonna go here the truck is still there and i don't like going to gas station where the truck just filled up it was a saying that you get that stuff on the bottom of, of the tank had that trash up in here so we gonna probably go to another gas station a little bit down the street and fill this thing up, put some of that 93 in it and 
see how this thing start running because that could be an issue too if old boy was just putting regular in him you know i'm coming with that 93 so y'all just stay tuned man man we got a little rain i just pulled up at graham's house so i'm gonna go ahead and shoot a video here just in case i can't make it to the spot i want to show y'all at you know in the other parking lot i'm gonna go ahead and shoot a video here y'all tell me what y'all think if y'all like it uh make sure y'all hit that like button comment share and make sure y'all hit that subscribe button it's free baby yes sir oldsmobile oh what's that it's not the 87 or the 88 no european front oh man but look here what is that yes sir what is that i caught somebody slipping yes sir what is that you dig what they say roots and get you what roots and get you what yeah i'm up i'm telling you and i know some people probably wondering what this is because i was the same way but guess what it is y'all uh, alarm this is an old school alarm where you had to put the key in turn it and that set your alarm that will be staying on there man let me know up in the comments what y'all think about this thing tell me what y'all think these lips look bigger than the forges <laughs> i'm riding forge and ruchi Huh? Forges get you what? Forges, roots get you coochie. It's up there. Huh? Like I say, I got this on a deal, baby. I got this thing on a deal. Man bought some flow mats and everything. Ain't got a crack on the dash, man. Look, look how them doors close. We gonna do a full walk around of the car on another vlog. I'm gonna just give y'all a little snippet of what's going on, man. And y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I will be having to go to the rim shop. The guy told me he put the wheels on himself and it's just not like how the morning color is. Look from that AC. That AC blowing in there. AC is blowing in there. I'm finna show y'all what I'm talking about with this uh rim on the back. I think he told me he had air shocks on the back, but I just don't like it because I've been riding in it and this what happened. He had had nothing on the tires like talking about I knocked a chunk out of it. I just seen it when Red was messing with it. I say, Red, I need to park it. I done knocked a chunk out this thing. But yeah, tell me what y'all think about this thing, man. In the comments, let me know. And I will be dropping another video with the, the full detail. We go pop the hood. We go uh, insides, front to back, trunk. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Stay tuned for that next video. Ain't no telling what I'm going to say in that next video. Y'all might be surprised. And make sure y'all hit that like it's free like button share is free share with a friend tell a friend to tell a friend i got some g-body motion going on over here man you want a g-body shit you might get lucky if you come to this page i got that m that monte carlo that mc it's for sale who knows what i might do this so y'all just gotta stay tuned man and make sure y'all hit that subscribe button it's free i appreciate y'all for watching peace